So <clears throat> there are times that, you know, we talk about relationships. So um, we talk about family. You know, there are times God will give you a spiritual family. Um, so sometimes, you know, God may give you um, a spiritual mother or a spiritual father. Or, you know, like we are all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, you know, we need that. It's good. You know, somebody that can hold you accountable. Proverbs 18 and 24, it says, A man that has friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So, you know, there may be some people you could say, Oh, that's my brother or my sister. You know, they've been like that. You know, they've been pretty, you know, saying good to you, just talking to you and encouraging you. And we definitely need that. You know, you need somebody that can hold you accountable for when you're doing something wrong. And they can let you know, hey, it's not something you be doing. It's unhealthy for you. Um, 1 Corinthians 15 and 33, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. So we have to watch who we be careful. And we have to watch who we say is our brother or sister in Christ. You know, Proverbs 22 and 25, where you will learn his ways and find a snare for yourself. So we got to be careful who we call sister and brother. Um, Proverbs 27 and 17, it says, As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. So that's why it says that a friend will stick closer than a brother. So that's something that God will do, you know what I'm saying? He will uh, give you, like I said, a spiritual mother or father. You know what I'm saying? That's no disrespect or anything to your actual real mother or your father or anything like that. In some cases, you know saying? The father and mother may not be there or anything like that. Or some, you know... They have passed away or anything like that, but, you know, that's what God does, you know, saying we're not meant to try to face the world alone, you know. I was helping one of my cousins, you know, the other day, and she was talking about, you know, she's so strong and everything like that, and, you know, she was like, she really don't, she tried to hold everything in, you know, just began to talk to her, and she just began to cry. I was like, cuz, I'm always here for you, like, if you need to talk, you know, like what you say is just between me and you and God, you know, so just leave it at that. You know, sometimes it's hard, you know, saying we just want to hold all that stuff in and we want to be strong and you don't got to. But I will say this, though, you know, that there are times that you will know who your real friends are or not. You know, saying when you're going through a trying time in your life or anything like that, you know, it will tell. I mean, if you can go to somebody and you feel worse than what you came before, um, worse than what you did before, then maybe that's not somebody you should be telling your business to. And that's when God really shows who your true friends are. You know, you can always tell when you're going through something or anything like that. So just wanted to be obedient and say that. Just let you know that, you know, God does give us a spiritual family. So you don't got to face this stuff alone. You know, you need somebody that can spiritually advise you in the right direction. Love y'all. God bless.